Hi, good afternoon, and thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Vogan's European Outlook. 10 HPA temperatures are rising very significantly with the ongoing stratospheric warming that's going on, and we are seeing um, possibly, well, yeah, not possibly, we are seeing even more dramatic warming at 30 HPA, which is down within the lower portion of the stratosphere and near where it meets the troposphere. So very strong warming, a strong surge in temperatures where we went from record-breaking cold temperatures within the uh, both the 30 and the 10 HPA level back in the, you know, the end of January and through February. Look at this here, just a dramatic sharp rise in temperature in the last day or so here uh, in particular. And uh, in response to that, we're going to see the Arctic Oscillation for the first time really, believe it or not, since uh, what the beginning of February, the Arctic Oscillation going negative and possibly the most negative it has been since back in the middle portion of December. So it is very likely the response of the stratospheric warming now starting to take shape within the troposphere and the reversion of the easterly winds uh, means that we are seeing the Arctic Oscillation going negative. So it's been a long time since we've been at this uh, point in time and uh, the, uh, the North Atlantic Oscillation t uh, as well equally going uh, firmly into negative territory uh, as we go through next week in particular. So um, it is going to be uh, turning colder and more unsettled as well. Before I look at the charts, I want to show you the temperature difference here. We had 18.7 Celsius at Alt Mahara yesterday afternoon. The temperature this morning was down to minus 3.1 Celsius. So we had a temperature difference of uh, of over 20 Celsius. Now, that isn't uncommon, really, for this time of the year. Clear skies, light winds, drier in place. You see strong warming during the day and still some significant cooling uh, by night. And we are going to see, by the way, much colder temperatures under clear skies and light winds during the course of next week. Looking at the GFS chart here, it is interesting what it's showing. Uh, we do see the eventual demise of high pressure over the British Isles. Skip through the loop, and uh, we do have that high continuing to last uh, right the way through the weekend. And what looks as if it takes place now, the, the, the current model run is showing the kind of the heights coming down over the UK. So the area of high pressure deflates quite significantly. And then eventually what happens is it just shows that the Atlantic then uh, moving in. So we, re we return to more westerly winds once again and Atlantic low pressure. That is rather interesting here because the, e the ECMWF is, is somewhat different to that uh, in the sense that we do see um, the modelling indicating high push to the west. Sorry, I'll phone him back. <laughs> the high pushes to the west and opens the door to colder air coming down from the north. So as you see here, as I play it through the loop, of the ECMWF, and I'll get back to the start again. The high over the next few days, warm by day, cool by night, continues across the, uh, the UK. And as we push towards the end of the, the weekend and in the next week, that high can uh, it deflates somewhat, but then it opens the door. Notice that area of low pressure coming down over the Norwegian Sea, opening the door, the colder air coming in from the north and northeast here. The area of high pressure backs west and northwest up towards Greenland here. So the negative Arctic Oscillation, North Atlantic Oscillation, begins to show its hand as we go into the early portion of next week here. Like I've said before, all the details still very open to question. I do reckon that we will see snow primarily over high ground, possibly the north of England, North Wales, certainly up over Scotland, I think. And uh, exactly how cold we get, all open the question, but it looks as if we're going to see the turnaround taking place towards the end of the weekend, particularly so in the early next week. And um, it is all in response to the stratospheric warming that we're seeing at the moment. That's it for today. Short and sweet. I will be hopefully back again tomorrow with more. Hope you have a great one. Bye for now.